In Lebanon, on the structure of a temple, such stones have been placed that astonish the human mind. Each stone weighs as much as three blue whales. And astonishingly, not only were they cut into one piece with great mastery, but also transported from one and a half kilometers away thousands of years. Ego, but the mystery is that till today, no such human civilization has passed, which is famous for cutting such large stones. Is there in history any civilization that had the knowledge which we do not have today? To investigate these stones, a team of German archaeologists started excavating the quarry from where these stones were brought. There still exists an incomplete stone there today, whose weight is said to be 1,200 tons. That is nearly equal to four Boeing 747s. After excavation there, archaeologists found some such evidence underground which is quite difficult to believe. Welcome, once again viewers to the video, to the east of Lebanon's Bekaa Valley is a city named Belbek where people come only to see some ruins of the Roman Empire. But the interesting thing is that these are the ruins visible from above. But beneath them, archaeology has found some such evidence which has no connection with the Roman Empire. At least not till now, here is a temple built by ancient Romans, which is called the Temple of Jupiter. This temple is even today considered the finest example of Roman Empire's architecture and craftsmanship. But beneath the construction of this temple, a foundation of very large stones has been found. At first it was thought that perhaps these were not in one piece, but that small stones were joined with great skill to make them look like one. But after different tests, this was confirmed that these are nothing else but one giant stone. These stones, which were later called the Trilithon, lifting them up 30 feet was perhaps the first time in human history such a thing was done. To estimate the size and weight of these stones, each stone is 900,000 kilo. That is one and a half times heavier than the world's heaviest aircraft. The Antonov An-225 Maria, and also 10 times larger than the biggest stones used in the construction of the Pyramid of Giza. Despite their huge size, somehow these stones were transported from the quarry, which is about one and a half kilometers away, and then placed over the blocks of the Heliopolis complex, on top of which, Later completed blocks were placed and built upwards. The accuracy with which these stones were cut and joined is indeed quite extraordinary, especially for that era when it was impossible even to imagine modern machinery because there is not even the space of a paper between them. If we look at Roman structures, their focus was on beauty. They wanted to show their construction skills to the world. But in contrast, the trilithon was buried inside. Seeing this raises the question that if any civilization accomplished such a great feat, then why would it hide it? Ancient Romans, who were famous for keeping records of every skill of theirs, did not record these trilithon. Rather, they built their temple upon an already made foundation. Apart from this, according to historians, the largest crane that the Romans had could only lift 60 tons. Because of this, it is absolutely impossible that they could lift these 900 ton stones. And the stones, which the Romans did lift with cranes, in between them, they would make a special shaped hole, which was called Lewis holes. But no such holes are found here. There is no record of lifting and bringing these trilithon stones. So then who accomplished this work with such mastery? Who actually built the foundation of the Temple of Jupiter? The other stones of the Temple of Jupiter are fitted with finishing. While the trilithon is thought to be much older, at least 10,000 years older than the Roman Empire. The kind of work which even today in the modern era is considered impossible. Who then in that time accomplished it and how? This is such a mystery about which archeologists till now cannot say anything. In Baalbek, not only these trilithon, but at several places in the Temple of Jupiter compound, many such large stones can be seen. Beside the stairs, see this stone of 800 tons. Even moving it is no ordinary matter. After this comes the south wall where countless blocks of 400 to 800 tons are found. Some are above ground, many are underground, but no one knows how deep they go into the ground. Their fitting has been done with very neat finishing and this line made on the border is even smaller than one, but a millimeter. After seeing this, the work appears even more complex. On the surface of these stones, some strange marks are present like those made today by modern mining machinery on stones. The length of these marks is about 10 feet and they are absolutely parallel to each other. 
If we talk about the tools of ancient times, there is none of them that could make this type of marks. At least in the record of historians, there is no such tool. Such. Tool marks have also been seen on the stones of Yangshan Quarry in China. Here exists a stone block weighing 16,000 tons on which exactly similar marks are present as on the stones of Baalbek Edat similarly in the ancient city of Petra in Jordan. Such marks have also been seen. This city carved from mountain stones was built at least 2300 years ago. If comparison is made, these marks are just like modern machinery. That is, in ancient times too there was such technology which could cut stones like modern machinery. But obviously there is no solid proof of this with historians till now. Now let us come to the quarry from wh where actually these Baalbek stones were brought, including the Trilithon. It is about one and a half kilometers away from the Temple of Jupiter and it is a limestone quarry. Here some half-cut stones still exist. This is even more astonishing because this is known as the stone of the pregnant woman. How it got this name? Many stories are famous about it. Feet long, 14 feet high and 14 feet thick. According to area, its weight has been calculated to be 1200 tons. This stone is lying at an angle while its lower part is still connected to the quarry rock. Those who cut it into this shape did not get the chance to separate its lower part. And perhaps in the middle, they had to leave this work. Otherwise, perhaps this stone in two today would be seen on the side of the Temple of Jupiter. On the bottom of this stone, even today, the same kind of marks are present as were seen on the other stones of the Temple of Jupiter in Switzerland's Jungfrau Park, a model of the pregnant woman stone is placed around which models of some modern cranes have been set. The purpose of showing this is only that even if today one had to lift the pregnant woman stone, about 20 cranes together could do this work. That too, only if there was space around the stone for 50, 60 feet to place the cranes. Earlier, the pregnant woman stone was half buried underground. But in 2014, when a team of archaeologists excavated here, it was found that underground too, it was separate from the quarry. Only the bottom of this block was still connected to the quarry. That is, after lying for thousands of years like this, the layer of soil had buried it inside the ground. Scientists believe that one inch of layer deposits approximately in 80 to 100 years in old pictures of the pregnant woman stone. It is seen buried almost 10 feet inside. That is 120 inches. Therefore, if one inch equals 80 years, then for 120 inches to deposit, it would take 9,600 years, almost 10,000 years. So long ago in the stone age, were humans capable of doing such challenging tasks? Thinking and understanding this is quite difficult. In 2014, when excavation was done for this stone, another astonishing thing came to light. Another hidden stone. This stone lying right beside the pregnant woman is buried underground, which according to estimates weighs 1650 tons. Known as the forgotten stone, it is the largest stone block ever taken out from any quarry. This is only that part of the block which is visible from above. How deep and what else is hidden inside the quarry cannot be said for now. This stone is still a mystery for today's scientists, including engineers and archaeologists. The reason is that the methods used to cut, transport, and place them in the exact right place do not seem possible for any known ancient civilization or even today's builders. Apart from this, the journey from this quarry to Baalbek is not only uphill because of the mountain, but also very rough. No evidence has been found that in ancient times, any straight road was built to transport these stones to make pulling them easier. Not only this, after reaching these heavy stones to the Baalbek site, how were they lifted with such precision? Even if it is accepted that giants existed, it points to that era when the size of humans was quite large and their bodies strong like gods. In different religious books, such as the Bible, Quran, and Hindu scriptures, such humans are mentioned who were very tall and powerful. They had such powers as superhumans have in fictional movies. In different books, they have been given different names. As in the Bible, they are called Nephilim. Somewhere their height is said to be 450 feet, somewhere 100 feet. And for those civilizations, perhaps lifting the stones of Baalbek was not such a difficult task. We hope you will fully like and share this video as well. Thank you very much for your loving comments. See you in the next wonderful video.